Good morning. Greek style breakfast coming your way. We have two eggs and my veggie mix. This is peppers and zucchini scrambled up in a pan. Here's the eggs I use. They're from BJ's. I have one cup of fresh baby spinach and I have one ounce of Trader Joe's crumbled fat free feta for zero points. Moving on to the bottom piece of this Greek breakfast is the Joseph's Original Pita Bread. One of them is four points, and the Trader Joe's Garlic and Cucumber Tzatziki. One ounce is one point. So let's get this all assembled, and I'm going to add the baby spinach to my skillet here because I don't like it really cooked. I just kind of like it wilted, if that makes any sense. And I'm going to mix that all together in my skillet here and... Like I said, we're just gonna wilt the spinach. All right, so on my little food scale here, I have the pita bread that I warmed up for about 30 seconds in my microwave just to get it nice and soft and warm. I'm adding the mixture of egg and vegetables to the top here. And I don't even know why I have it on the food scale right now, but I do. <laughs> Good morning. All right, so let's go to the assembly portion. Now, while everything is on the pita bread, I'm adding the cheese first so that as it sits on top, it melts a little bit. And here comes the garlic cucumber tzatziki. Again, one point for one ounce, which is quite a bit. If you put this on top of the cheese, it just is the perfect addition to this Greek style breakfast. And I do like to weigh it out on the food scale to ensure that I'm getting the right amount one ounce here we go so it's on the food scale it zeroed out so as i spoon it on top you'll see on the scale it'll accumulate to one and that's how you know it's one ounce so this way you don't have to take it off of the sandwich and put it back in if you had the plate on top of the scale so one ounce on top of my food and wow look at this deliciousness this is the way to start a day you guys it's healthy there's a lot of vegetables, so you're getting in some really good fiber. The eggs have healthy fat. The tzatziki has a little bit of healthy fat. The cheese has some extra protein. I mean, you can't go wrong. And I did have coffee earlier, of course. So here's my little notation of a six-point Greek-style breakfast. All right, guys, we are having a seafood lunch. So this is the leftover shrimp from last night that I chopped up into a little tiny pieces and I am going to add one tablespoon of Greek non-fat yogurt to the bowl which I already did. This is one of those mission low carb uh, wraps. Here it is two points for one of them and I took one tablespoon of the Trader Joe's roasted red pepper spread. Guys this is amazing. It was so good and I'm going to show you the points. So for um two teaspoons I think it's one point I used one tablespoon and for some reason it tracked as zero so this is going to be my lunch and I rolled it up and I cut it in half like a wrap delicious I did add some onion powder salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic to the shrimp mixture with the yogurt and if you don't use yogurt instead of mayonnaise you're fooling yourself it's so good it is so good and you have zero points instead of several others so that was lunch i'll see you at the doctor's office i'm here at the doctor's office getting ready for my biopsy uh it's 1 30. test time is two o'clock at around one o'clock i took two advil um nobody here prepped me for this which i thought was kind of weird um, but what I've heard is that it is actually pretty painful. So I, on my own, just took some Advil. Um, I only took two, though. Maybe I should have taken three. I don't know, but I don't want to take too much. Nurses are the worst patients, let me tell you. It's not easy to be on the other side of things. Thank you for your thoughts and prayers. I felt the love. The ladybugs were out. There was one on my door today when I left. So uh, I almost feel like yesterday was that swarm. And then today, the one that was there was just enough to say, I'm still here for you, Lori. Good luck. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna wait inside. Thank you all. I love you and I will see you when I get out. Ah, I'm so nervous. I love you. Bye guys. for the
blood test. All right, I'm all done. <laughs> it hurt, but not horrific hurt. Just a lot of cramping. And uh, anyway, I'm glad it's behind me. That's that. So um, going back to the ovary, they reviewed the um, ultrasound again. Basically right now they want in six weeks, they want to do another transvaginal ultrasound to see if the ovary has changed, to see if what they're looking on the inside with the uh, papillation is any different. And we'll discuss what we have to do at that time. In the meantime, I had the biopsy for the uterus. I had the CA-125 blood work and I should have these results in about a week. So I have a week to stew on things. I'm gonna keep myself positive. I'm gonna just try not to think about it. There's really nothing I can do until we have a picture of everything going on. So uh, that's the scoop. <laughs> Guys, I love you all so much. So I, uh, she said to anticipate some bleeding. I went to the bathroom here before I left. I had to give a urine sample. There was no blood. And um, she told me just to continue with Advil throughout the day. And she said today and tomorrow um, I should rest. <laughs> me? Rest? Ah! So I'm going to try to do that. So that means tomorrow I will be working from home and resting. So anyway, that's the scoop, guys. It is 3 o'clock now, so I was there for a full hour. The, uh, the biopsy didn't take long at all. Maybe from start to finish... I don't know, six, seven minutes tops. Um, she went in, it felt like twice and woo, you could feel it. Like you, it was such a weird feeling, very crampy. And I kept saying to myself, you're doing sit-ups, you're doing sit-ups, you're doing sit-ups. So I could mentally pull myself away from everything. But um, anyway, it reminded me of labor. <laughs> and I had two C-sections, but I was in labor. So it was uncomfortable, but not unbearable. And under the circumstances, I had to have it done. So it's all behind me now. Let's see what the results show. And that's it. So I am heading home now and I will see you over there. It is a couple of hours after my test. I'm just in the mood for a little snack. So I'm gonna have some baby carrots, two tablespoons of that tzatziki sauce. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And I'm gonna have a Premier Protein. I'm laying here with the heating pad on. I'm relaxing, just like the doctor said. <laughs> it's not easy, but I'm doing it. And as you can see, the snack is four points. I'll see you at dinner time. All right, guys, I'm hanging in there. I have a heating pad on. Not gonna show you, because I'm not wearing a bra. <laughs> the ladies are hanging <laughs> um cramps are okay you know it's a little uncomfortable but definitely i think the advil that i took really got the edge off it um you know i'm just laying here i have this th this whole big thing look at paisley uh these couches here have you know the part where your feet are that foot thing comes out and you can relax and kick your feet up so that's what i'm doing now um got my remote and yeah so just taking it easy i just wish jess was home uh, he doesn't work he doesn't come home tonight until 11. so it's just me Brittany um has a benefit one of one of her friends from high school passed away he was a firefighter died in the line of duty so horrible she's going to a benefit tonight for that I've got Molly and Paisley with me, Boo and Petunia, and yeah, that's it. So um, I guess I don't know what I'm going to make for dinner tonight. Uh, like I said, I'm not even that hungry. Had the carrots a little while ago and the coffee, which will keep me satisfied for quite a while. So, all right, I'll see, I'll see you. I just wanted to give you a quick little update. All right, guys, so I'm going to make myself something to eat for dinner now. I'm actually a little bit hungry, so gonna make a box of hearts of palm pasta if you've never had this this is from trader joe's the entire box is zero points so for this whole box the whole thing 60 calories 13 grams of carbs 5 grams of sugar and 3 grams of protein 
So I'm gonna make the whole box and then I'm gonna mix in with it uh, this. This is the ground beef from Trader Joe's. This is the 96% lean. I'm gonna take four ounces of this out, put it in the skillet, brown it up, add the hearts of palm, and then I don't know what I'm gonna put on it. I might do some laughing cow for, um, it'll melt into like a little bit of a cream sauce. I don't know, we'll see as I go. I'm all about creating. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I want it simple, but I'm kind of craving that like beef and mac kind of something. So let's do it with hearts of palm and save ourselves some calories, some sugar and carbs. Here we go. Just born. 